Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a video on how to shave down a small breed dog. So typically when I'm shaving a dog or just doing a haircut, I start um, at the back of the neck and then I save the head for last. So we're just going to take this off for just a second. And when you start shaving, you want to hold the head up and you want to hold it kind of taunt so that you don't get the blade stuck in these folds of skin right here. So that's why you want to hold the head up um, almost a little too tightly just to make sure that, that skin stretches out and it's safe and it doesn't get caught in the blade there. So as you can see, as I get started, I'm just holding her head up, and this is what I was talking about, the skin right here. You just wanna make sure that that skin is nice and tight so it doesn't get caught in the blade. And then I'll just hold the ear out of the way. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And remember, we're gonna do the head last. And here I'm just holding the ear out of the way. Okay, so you can see we've got a good start here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back on her just for safety to make sure that she doesn't try to jump off the table. And as you can see, just using the clippers is getting all of this hair off. However, depending on how picky you want to be and how neat you want it to look, you can continue to kind of back brush and go over it several times just to make it look smoother. And as you can see, I'm just lightly brushing up against the grain of the hair and then I'm clipping with the grain of the hair. And the more you back brush and go over it, the neater it will look. Come <laughs> on, sweetie. I'm just gonna tilt her this way just to show you. So here I am, I'm back brushing. And then I'm clipping the hair in the direction that it grows. And then to make it neater, I'm going to back brush. And then shave in the direction that it grows. And one of the other things when you're shaving, especially with a dog that has like kind of, you know, some wrinkles here, you kind of hold it taut like this, the same way we did with the neck. And it's just for safety so that you kind of hold that skin a little bit tight just to make sure that the blade doesn't get caught in the skin and give her a little nick. And then same thing when you're coming down here to the stomach. A lot of dogs have an extra skin right here. And so you want to make sure that you're rolling the skin and you're always kind of working on a flat surface. Because if you, um, you can't see probably from the video, but if I feel here, there's some skin that's just a little um, extra right there. And I could catch that in the blade and cut her. So I want to make sure that I hold it tight and kind of roll it so it's on a flat surface. Then I can back brush a little, make it look neater. I 
One of the things that's important when you're working on the leg here too, again, for safety, you just wanna make sure that you're kind of rolling the skin onto a flatter part of the leg because right here is where the, her skin could get caught in the blade. So I'm always kind of using my thumb to kind of hold the skin tight and then shaving that area. And then as you move your way down the leg, you can actually use your hand to pick up the leg and just kind of hold it, put a little bit of pressure so that it holds the leg straight. And then you can shave down the whole foot. Good girl. And then some of this on the foot, um, we'll just um, neaten up with our scissors. And I typically save all that neatening and the tail um, after, I typically do that last after I've shaved the whole body. And here you can see I'm pushing her head away and I'm just um, holding this kind of tight. And then when you're getting into the elbow area, this is a, a place that's common for dogs to get cut. So um, I'm just gonna show you some ways to safely shave inside there where all that extra hair is. So again, they can be sitting down or standing up, but I take the leg and I pull it out, and again, you can feel where the skin is, and you just wanna make sure that you're holding it flat. Where the skin flap is, you don't wanna go over that. You wanna make sure it's semi-flat. And then I can use my clipper at different angles. Good girl. Okay. And then I'm just going to step around to the front of her to get that elbow from this angle. Okay, girl. Good girl. And then after I have this area shaved, oops, then I'm gonna hold behind her elbow and just put a little bit of pressure to kind of keep her legs straight. And then I'm gonna go over the top of her foot. I'll try to give you a view of that side there. And a lot of times, um, you know, the puppies don't necessarily like their legs being held, so I just give them little breaks. Good girl.
<laughs> Good girl. And again here you can see I'm just using my hand to kind of roll that skin tight. here a little and then here I'm gonna take my thumb and all that skin right there I'm gonna roll out here and I'm gonna just work on a flat surface and as you can see then when you let go of the skin it goes you know kind of just goes back to its natural position and all of that's trimmed versus going over it like that I move it out like that Again here with the skin, we're just gonna pull that tight. And we'll work down our back leg here. And then as I go into her lower leg, I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna put just a little bit of pressure on her leg right there to kind of hold it straight while I go over the lower part. And I'm gonna give her a break, back brush, and do that again. And I usually will shave down to the foot so it looks about like that, and then that will finish trimming up with the scissors when we're all done. Then we're just going to do a view from the rear end here to kind of show you how I do the inside of the legs um, and under the tail. So I just kind of hold the tail off to the side. And then I lift the opposite leg up just a little bit. Okay, sweetie. Another area that's easy to cut is right here. So you just want to make sure that you're not clipping directly down the back of their leg right there. You want to go off to the side a little bit. And we'll give her a little break. And a lot of this extra little hair will just finish up with scissors and make look um, to make it look really nice and neat. And I'll show you this front leg here. So I'm going to hold this tight. And then hold her leg out. You're okay, sweetie. You're okay. And then I'm going to hold behind the elbow and put a little bit of pressure there to keep her legs straight while I go over this part of her foot. 
Okay. And at this point, we've got the hair off for the most part. So I'm just going to neaten it up a little bit more with the clippers and then do my finished work with the scissors. Going over it over and over and over again um, with the back brushing is really what's going to make it look nice and neat. So it just depends on how much time you want to put into um, the finished work. Okay, so now that we have all of the hair off of the body, which we've done with, um, we used a six blade today. However, you could use a seven blade, a six blade, a five blade, um, really just depends on the actual length that you want the hair to be. Okay, we're gonna use a 10 blade for shaving the pads of the feet. that blade and I'm just going to kind of get between the pads here because what happens is this hair will get matted up and it can be painful for the dog. So you want to make sure that you remove all that hair from between their toes. Two back feet, we're going to do our two front feet as well. And you can see I got most of the hair there, and then I can just kind of neaten that up with the scissors. One more paw. The other thing we're going to use our 10 blade for is to shave around our private area. Now you don't have to do this step, but I like to. It kind of keeps them a little bit cleaner around where they urinate. So I just hold the leg up and I take my 10 blade and just go over the area where, they're, um, where they urinate. And again, you don't have to do that step, but I think it just makes them a little cleaner. Okay, so now we're ready to do our finished work with the scissors. So we're going to take our comb and we're going to hold up the foot. And I like to start from the bottom of the foot to get a nice round shape. Just make sure everything's combed down. And I like to use curved scissors and the curved scissors follow the shape of the dog's foot. So I start from the bottom, as you can see, and just so you can see all the toes and get a nice round shape. And then put the foot down and see what it looks like. And then once you've got a pretty good basic shape, then I'll go around to the front of the foot and then I'll take my fingers and I'll go between each toe just to pull up all that extra hair. 
and then kind of fluff it up with my comb or my brush. You can see all these little hairs that were in between her toes. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to go swoop across like this. And you can go this way or this way, up or down. You just don't want to go this way because it will just look a little choppy. And you can put the foot down and kind of see what it looks like. And again, this is just a step, you know, you can spend as much time or as little time as you would like doing it, um, depending on how neat you want it to look. And I like to actually take my fingers and pull the hair down below the toes too, just to make sure I get all that extra. And then this hair back here, all this extra hair, we can neaten up a little with our scissors. And then we're going to do the same thing with the front foot. I'm going to start from the bottom of the foot. Just go around in a little circle. Sit it down, see what it looks like. And then you can see this hair here too in the back. Um, what I like to do is kind of, I hold the leg right here and kind of a little bit of pressure so she can't pick it up. And then I use my scissors to kind of trim that right there. And then I'm going to move around and do uh, the front of her foot. So again, I'm going to take my fingers. I'm going to go through each of the toes and pull all that hair up.
And then again, I'm going to go double check and take that hair and go down on the bottom just to make sure I got all that extra hair. And then just depending on how neat you want it to look, you can kind of just keep going over it and over it. And then some of this little extra hair here, I'm just gonna take my scissors and snip all that off. Same with the inside here, especially around the little dew cloth. You'll get a little tuft of hair. Just want to kind of pull that out. Trim. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to start from the bottom of the foot. I'm just going to work my way all around the foot in a circle. Set it down, see what it looks like. And then move around to the front of the foot. Check between all the toes. And you can see when I take my fingers through this toes, that all these little hairs are sticking up here. And you also want to check just to make sure to feel that there are not any little mats between the toes. Let me kind of see what that's looking like. And then we can just go over it to neaten it up. to this last front foot. Then I'm going to have her stand up so again we can finish up that last little spot back there like we talked about on the other side.
And then once I have the body and the feet um, finished, then I'll go ahead and do the tail and then lastly the head. So I typically like to trim really short, just right around the rear end. Okay, so now we're gonna trim the tail. So I'm gonna feel where her actual tail is, and then I'm gonna hold the end of her tail, and I'm gonna comb the hair down straight on both sides. And you can see when I hold it up, how it's just uneven. I'm gonna take my scissors, And I'm just going to make it nice and even. And I'm going to double check it with my comb. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to hold her tail. I'm going to comb all of her hair straight down just like the other side. And I'm going to use my scissors and follow the curve of her tail. And just make that all even. And then if you've got some little tufts up here that stick up, And just take your scissors and kind of scissor that. Just to make it look a little neater. And then the last thing we're going to do, of course, is trim her face and her ears. Okay, so even when shaving the body, I typically like to leave the head just a little bit longer. So we did the body about a quarter of an inch. And this is a um, guard attachment that is a half of an inch. So we'll just leave um, just a little bit more length on the top of the head. So I typically like to start at the back of the head and go backwards just to kind of um, graduate the, you know, the quarter of an inch to the half inch. Because when you go backwards, it will be a little shorter. And you can see there that just kind of blends the back of the head a little easier. So then after I've done, you know, backwards on the back of the head there, a little bit more, then I like to switch it around and go with the grain of the hair in the front. Remember, you only want to go backwards there if you're using a longer blade. If you just want to shave the whole head, you could stick with your blade and just make sure you go all just with the grain of the hair. And then mostly the head is just going to be scissor work. So I'm just going to kind of fluff it up a little. It's in the front here. And I'm just going to use my scissors and I'm going to trim her little visor or her bangs here. And I'm just going to work my way back. I'm going to kind of fluff it up so you can see all these little hairs that are sticking up. And I'm going to do the same swooping motion that I used on our feet. And I'm just going to trim all of that down. You can see she's got some like calyx and some different hair growth here. I'm just going to try to make that blend as much as I can. And I'm going to keep fluffing up with my home. And 
And I'm just going to scissor all these little extra hairs that stick up. I typically like to shave the corners of the eyes with the 10 blade. And then you can either hand scissor or go over the rest of the face with a blade. So since this is a shave video, I'm going to go over the rest of the face with a longer blade. So I'm switching to a four blade. And like I said, you can use the same blade that you used on her body um, all over her head and her face if that's the only blade that you have available. And it was, would be the exact same way, exact same concept that we showed you. Um, however, if you have multiple blades, I do like to leave the head and the face just a little bit longer. So again, just to reiterate, we did the half inch, we did a quarter inch on the body, the half inch on the head, and then this blade is basically a half inch, just a tiny bit shorter. It's called a four blade, and I'm going to use that for her cheeks and for her face. So I'm just going to hold her ear out of the way, and you can see all this hair sticking up here. And we're just going to go with the grain of the hair, and then we'll finish it up with scissors to make it look neat. And then I'm going to hold um, one side of her face and hold her head up, and I'm just going to very lightly go over her face with the same four blade. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Start with the... I'm just trying to get a look at here, see how long it looks. And you want to hold her nose up and just make sure you hold her mouth shut for a minute. Let me just get that extra hair off. And then we're just going to use our scissors to kind of neaten up the hair that's left there. So I'm going to hold her mouth shut so she doesn't stick her tongue out because we don't want to clip her tongue, or cut her tongue, I should say. So I'm just very gently going to hold her mouth shut. And I'm going to lightly scissor around the bottom. Tilt her head, and I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to make sure that I am holding her mouth shut, because you can see she likes to stick her tongue out. <laughs> so I'm going to just hold it tight for a minute. Just so I can scissor that extra hair. I'm going to give her a break. See how she looks.
anytime I'm clipping around her face, I'm going to hold her mouth shut. And then give her a break to see what it looks like. Okay, and that's about as short as we'd like to have her face. Okay, so now I'm just gonna trim her ears. And I've just got a little conditioning spray, my comb there, kind of help keep that static down. So when trimming the ears, I like to brush them all out and then let the dog just sit in their natural position so that I can see how their ear folds and make a nice line at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ear. So I'm just gonna hold her head straight. And you can see how it's just a little uneven. I'm just gonna neaten that up. And I'm just going to go over it and just kind of see what looks uneven or out of place. So a lot of times I like to use thinning shears too, just to neaten up and give everything a more natural look. You can see all these little flyaway hairs. I'm just using my thinning shears to kind of trim. we go and that's about it it's a shave on a small breed dog good girl